Hi everyone, my name is Ray, or some of you might know me as Tiki with Ray, and today I am in my Tiki bedroom. I like to call it Tiki with Ray's Tiki Hideaway. On this episode of Straight Edge Tiki, I'm going to show you how to make a honey honey straight edge tiki style. Now, some of you might know what a honey honey is, but to those of you that don't, a honey honey is actually a Mai Tai. Uh, 44 recipe Mai Tai, Trader Vic's Mai Tai. The only difference is instead of using rum, you use whiskey. And um, it definitely changes the drink a lot. <laughs> and um, I've had my fair share of them, and it really is a different drink, even though all the other recipe, all the other ingredients is the same as a Mai Tai. 44 recipe. And um, I figured I'd show you how to make a non-alcoholic version of it i bought a bottle of this um kentucky 74 whiskey alternative and i gotta say i'm pretty pleased with it um it actually tastes like whiskey um although the taste is a little kind of like a little a little watered down but it does taste like whiskey where um some of the other like rum alternatives like i really like uh the ritual but it i like how it tastes but it doesn't really taste like rum but this tastes like whiskey and um also i'm going to be using this dehas it's a, a fake orange liqueur and um it's pretty solid and i make I usually just make it with like I pour some some of this over some some club soda and some ice and call it good. For the other syrups, I'm going to use BG Reynolds. I'm a big fan of his, his of his syrups, and um, I like to use the Divine Vanilla as opposed to just using like a regular simple syrup because it just gives that a little bit more of a taste to it. All right, let's make this drink. So right off the bat, I already have my shaker filled up with ice, and. Um, We'll go with uh, the Dehas first, the, the Dehas orange liqueur. Let's go with a half ounce. For the Kentucky 74, that's gonna be replacing the rum. Usually it would be two, you know, usually in a Mai Tai it would be two ounces of rum, of a Jamaican rum. But for this, it's two ounces of a whiskey, but in this case, a whiskey alternative. I like to use B.G. Reynolds Orja syrup and um, half ounce. And last but not least, the Divine Vanilla, half ounce. Just to make things every, just to make things easy, um, half ounce, half ounce, two ounces, half ounce. You can adjust those proportions as much as you want. And an ounce of lime juice. Again. You can go with a half ounce of lime juice, a three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, whatever to your taste. If you like your drinks a little tartar, you know, just put more lime in it. So once we got all our ingredients and then we're gonna shake this up. I'll tell you what, it smells good right off the bat. And you can actually you can add the this has a really great aroma. I mean, like as soon as I I poured this into the into the glass, you can actually smell the whiskey smell. Really nice. Um, I'm gonna garnish it with uh, has spent lime shell. Normally, I'd I'd throw some some mint in there, but I don't have any. So if you have some, put it in there. Straw and um, let's go with the Frankie's Tiki Room stir. A couple weeks ago, I was actually at Frankie's, and um, they actually can make some of the cocktails non-alcoholic, which I had, and um, they're very, very tasty. So um, even if you don't drink, you can still have a good time at Frankie's. Just saying. Well, anyway, let's give this drink a shot. Oh, man. God, that's good. Now I want to warn you. It's a little, it's a, it's a little sweeter of a drink than normal. Again, when you're when you don't have the the rum, that taste isn't going to be there. But the whiskey, 
the whiskey is there. And um, because it's sweet, like the whiskey has a sweet taste to it, it adds to this drink. Um, but the nice thing about this Kentucky 74 whiskey is that, whiskey alternative, is that it doesn't have, it doesn't have like the bite that you would have with um, a regular whiskey. You know, usually you drink a, drink some whiskey and it's like there's that bite. That's not with this. And a lot of times when I've had Honey Honeys before, you have that bite. And um, this is just smooth. This is a great cocktail. Um, it's definitely well balanced. And um, I'll tell you what. I mean, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel bad serving this to any of my friends that don't drink. And um, man, this is really good. So yeah, that is the straight edge version of the honey honey. Again, it's the 44 recipe. And um, the nice thing about some of these alternatives, like whisk, like you have a whiskey alternative, you know, like the rum alternatives. This is um, an orange liqueur lit alternative. I'm starting to see a whole bunch of um, like bitters alternatives and aperitifs. And you're able to actually kind of recreate a lot of drinks with these with these alternatives. Now they're not going to be exactly the same. Again, I made a regular 44 Mai Tai using the Ritual Rum alternative, and um, yeah, it's not going to taste like a traditional 44 totally or exactly, but it does taste good and it does taste like a Mai Tai. And again, with this drink here, this tastes like a honey honey. Maybe it's just a little bit sweeter, but um. I love it. I like sweet drinks anyway. So if you want to make it, make it and let me know what you think below. Want to support the Tiki with Ray show and look cool doing it at the same time? Then head over to TikiWithRay.com and buy yourself a Tiki with Ray shirt. They're only $20. Tony Canepa did the design and the screen print in America.